Thank you so much to those of you that watched my last video and subscribed to my channel. I wanted to create another video this time just to take a little bit of a deeper dive into the new sites and check out some of the different features. So here's a site that I've just started making. Uh, it's a resources website for the School of Dean. As well as adding text onto the page, as I demonstrated last time, we can also add a number of different things into each page on the website. For example, we could add files or folders from Drive, YouTube videos, calendars, maps, uh, or individual documents as well. So I'm going to jump right in and show you some of these different features. So if I want to embed a Drive folder, I simply click this button here, and out pops a nice window, choose the folder that I want to insert, and then click Insert. Now in the old site, this was a bit clunky. You would have a separate settings window that would appear, and I could adjust the size by typing in a number of pixels, but on the new sites, it's really, really simple. I can just drag and resize this embedded folder however I want and then maybe I could add some text over here as well. It's truly really simple. Works exactly the same for any file as well. So if I go to my drive now and add in for example a form that I have here. Again click insert and it gets added to the page and again no fiddling about with any code or anything like that. It really is super simple. I just make this box uh, as big as it needs to be for me to fit the form in. Um, and if it's smaller, then that's fine. It'll, I'll have a scroll bar in this box as well. And again, really super simple to use. Uh, just clicking and dragging to resize the boxes I want. And it works exactly the same for uh, docs, sheets, and slides as well in the page. Just this bounding box here that I can then just click and drag the handles. Super, super simple. So as well as inserting things from Google Drive or YouTube videos, for example, I can also upload files. So if I choose upload here, I can choose a file from my computer. So right now I'm actually going to choose a Word document. Watch this. I'm going to choose it and upload it. And again, just like the other different files from Google Drive, I just get a box that I can click and drag to make bigger or smaller on the page even with Word documents. It's the same for PDFs too. So that's using some features to add different things to the page, but now I'd like to explore using different pages. So over on the top right here, I have an option that says Pages, and I can just click the New Page button, give it a name. This is a resources site, so maybe I have some resources for maths. And again, the first thing that you're probably going to want to do on each new page is change the image. So we can just find an image, maybe that fits the subject, or upload one of your own. Now let's just add a second page as well maybe a page for English, like so. And again, the first thing that you're probably going to want to do is choose an image like this. So we can see now the links to each page appear at the top right of the each page here. So I can go back to my home page, or the maths page, or the English page. Really, really simple. What I can also do though is head up here to the top left and click this settings button. And I can change the navigation to be on the side and that way everything is hidden in this hamburger icon. And I click, I get a really nice animation, like so. Now you can see here the order of the pages right now are home, maths and English. But I can adjust the order of those just by clicking and dragging the order of the pages in the pages tab over here. So now if I show you, we see it says home, English and maths. Again, really, really simple. And I can set any of these pages as a home page or I can rename them or delete them right here from the same menu. Now I'm just going to jump back to the home page here because I want to show you one of the best things I think to happen to sites uh, in this new version. So up here at the top on the toolbar, there is an add editors button. If I click that, I can invite somebody just like I do in a document. So you can see I've already invited Joe to come and edit this site with me. Now you could always have multiple editors on the old sites, but with the new sites, the editing happens in real time just like using a Google Doc. So let me show you how this works. So I have Joe's screen on the left here and my screen on the right. And if Joe was to jump into a text box and start adding some text, you can see it happens in real time for the other editors. This didn't happen in the old sites. So what we have here is a website that we can collaborate on in real time, just like we collaborate on Google Docs. That, for me, is phenomenal. I don't know of another product that does this in the same way and it just makes everything really, really easy. So it's just the same, maybe if I remove a section from the page, it happens in real time and you can see over on the right there that it's also been removed from my screen too. So the final thing we'd want to do once we've got a site ready is click publish. 
Now, right now, sites is in early access, which means that they can only be shown within the domain. We can't publish them publicly at this point in time. But once the new site is out of early access, we'll be able to do that and share our sites with everybody in the world. Now, one of the other questions that I had was, can you edit the HTML? And unfortunately, right now, the answer is no. Now, I'm in two minds about this. I think in some ways, it would be great to be able to edit the HTML of the page. But in others, I really love the simplicity here. As I said before, I think it's nearly impossible right now to create a bad looking site. And I think if you're able to edit HTML, does that add another layer of complexity? Possibly. And I'm not quite sure that that is what Google Sites is trying to achieve. But you never know. Google is always iterating and releasing new features. So over time, perhaps that's something we'll see in the new sites. Once again, I hope that was helpful. And if you have any further questions about the new Google Sites, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll upload a third video very, very soon.